Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve Internet Explorer script error messages you might be getting. Now this is cross operation system platforms, so it doesn't really necessarily matter for what version of Windows you're running. So we're going to go over how to not only disable these error messages, but hide them from appearing. So pretty straightforward. Now please note if you have any underlying issues, this tutorial is really not going to help you with that. It's just going to prevent Internet Explorer from crashing as frequently if that's what is resulting from these error messages. So pretty straightforward. We're going to start by opening up Internet Explorer. Please note that Internet Explorer is not the same as this Microsoft Edge in Windows 10. I know it looks like Internet Explorer. I know some people probably think it is. There might be some confusion, but this is pertaining to Internet Explorer. This is not Microsoft Edge. Just want to make that exceptionally clear. So we are going to start by heading up to the top right corner and left clicking on the tools icon that looks like a gear. So you want to left click on that. And then at the bottom of this drop down menu, you want to left click on Internet Options. So now underneath Internet Options, you want to left click on the Advanced tab at the far right. Now underneath the Browsing section, so I'm going to scroll down here so we can get in a clearer sight. So the three that we care about is Disable Script Debugging Internet Explorer, Disable Script Debugging Other, and Display a Notification about Every Script Error. The first two that I mentioned should both be enabled for Internet Explorer and for Other. And the third one that says display a notification about every script error should remain unchecked. So once you've ensured that that is the current setup, what you want to do is click on apply and OK. And then you can close out of your Internet Explorer browser, restart, and hopefully your issue has been resolved. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.